So, Jen, why are you living in a Transit Connect in the middle of nowhere? Um, it's kind of, I've got this thing for traveling and it kind of all came about about a month and a half ago and it rolled into this. I don't know how it happened, but it did. But I very much enjoy it. It's always kind of been a, a thing for me, I guess. So. And you're young. You mean you're, uh, yeah, I'm you're not old and retired. I'm 28. And so how are you supporting yourself on the road? Um, well, before this, I worked two jobs. I was a bank teller and a bartender and saving my paychecks, living on my tips. Um, so for now, I don't have an income, but um, because it was such short notice on getting out here, um, getting out here was the first thing. And then after that, it was find an income. So not so, yeah. anything yet. But you, well, we're going to have a work camping seminar, and right. we'll talk about that. And there right. are jobs, and as a, a bartender, you can always fall back on that. Yes. That's one of the great things about being bartender. There's jobs everywhere you go. Yes. People drink. <laughs> yep, they don't quit. No, they don't quit. So. And so, uh, what made you decide to tr on a Transit Connect? Um, to be honest, it was all such short... I mean, I gave my notice in mid-November for my jobs and um, didn't even find the van until three weeks before I left home. So it, I was going to originally do it in my car and then I cleaned out my car and crawled in the trunk and I was just like, this is just not going to work. And I was looking at SUVs, but they started at 8000 and that would have blown my entire budget. So um, I came across this on Craigslist and it was listed there at 3000 so I, I had to jump on it. <laughs> right. And so tell us about the Connect. Um, well, this is the first year that it's been over here. Um, the 2010s were the first year. Um, it's the largest model of the Transit Connects. Everything after the 2010 is smaller. Um, I, don't, I guess I have the basic model. There's a few different models of it. I have just window cranks. I don't have cruise control. Um, but I thought that was all stuff that would eventually break down and I have to fix. So I'm very okay with it. So it's a, a work vehicle, a cargo oh, yes, type vehicle. Yes, it, it had many owners before that. You can, there's still paint on the um, steering wheel. There's lots of scratches in the, in the plastic. Um, it was a pool guy owned it, and a painter, and I guess I'm not sure what else. It was very dirty when I got it, right. so lots of scrubbing. And do you get pretty good gas mileage with it? Um, I haven't calculated it out myself, but um, I'm told 27 highway is what it gets and I I can't complain at all it actually wasn't bad no typically these will get uh, 27 28 even up to 30 if on good conditions flat no wind 30 is not out of the question they're, they're pretty amazing in that way that's one reason people love them yes. so uh, do you have a, a vision or picture of your nomadic life do you want to have adventures or just go around the next corner um well, I named my van Makani, and it means the wind, so I always say wherever the wind takes me. Just itchy feet. Would that, <laughs> would that kind of describe it? Yep, yep. Just whatever I can see. Anything. Just traveling and seeing different places and cultures and meeting different people and kind of all of it. And and just working and paying your way as you go. Yep, yep. Now, mostly when uh, women, particularly young women, say they're going to go live on the road, their family and friends are very concerned for their safety and, and their sanity. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so have there been questions about your safety and your sanity? Um. Well, with my last two jobs, being a bank teller and a bartender, I had about 50-plus dads in my community. And yes, I heard all of it. You know, do you, are you packing? Do you have, you know, all sorts of different things they went through. And, and I did my research. I, um, I chose the few things I wanted. And I, you know, I guess I rely on my intuition. If I don't feel safe, I just don't go in that spot or I don't stay in that area. Or, you know, it's, it's, it's up to me to, to kind of gauge the situation. So it's, it's easier when you're not forced to do anything you don't want to do. And uh, your parents were supportive? Yes, yes. And actually, my mom, when I was at home, she knew I wasn't happy there. And she knows, because she knows me and she knows I like to travel and, and like you said, itchy feet, I guess, um, she was very helpful with, almost to the point where she was pushing me out of the house. <laughs> and I'm like, Mom, do you want me to go? And she's like, I just want you to be happy. So, she well, you're knows very fortunate is. for that. Yes, yep. 
a lot of parents are not so supportive of a crazy idea like this. <laughs> yes, they, my parents were very supportive. My dad helped me build everything in it, and, and my mom kept me kept pushing me out. So it was good. And that's that is pretty impressive. Very good. Well, uh, so would you mind showing us around your uh, luxurious home? I sure can. Okay. I guess I kind I didn't really buy anything for the van. I kind of just picked up whatever I did. Um, whatever I had at home or whatever siblings had that I thought I could use. So um, I just have a lot of these containers here. Well, let's talk stores. about the bed because that's kind of oh, the centerpiece sure. of it. Um, so we built a frame and it's actually like a countertop and it's 24 inches wide. Um, but I guess if I were to redo it, I would have made it a little bit wider since all my stuff kind of hangs out a little bit further anyway. Um, but I'm very comfortable on the 24 inches. I'm, I'm small, so that doesn't bother me. Um, definitely organization is key in here. Right. <laughs> I mean, I packed quite a bit of stuff. I, I'm prepared for cold weather. I'm prepared for Florida weather. And the bed is just uh, looks like a countertop and two by four legs. Yep, yep. We just, just as simple as. Yep, very simple. There's. There's two two legs here, and then there's beams. These two beams connect the two legs together, mm -hmm. and then one on this side and one on the other. And we didn't think it needed any more support than that, since I wasn't. No, no that should be just fine. Mm -hmm. And then so just probably all plastic drawer units and and uh, yep. boxes that you had at home. Yep. And just keep it all organized. It's all very neat, and uh, you probably can find pretty much everything you need to find. Yep. What really helped too was like with my drawers. I rolled my clothes and then um, stood them up, so I can see what everything is in here. Right. You sure can. But I can fit an awful lot in it. Yeah. So. And then hanging. Yep. Hanging is always good. Yep. I. <laughs> I am a girl that lived a life of luxury before this, so. Uh, dwindling down my stuff was pretty hard, but... So you were not a minimalist by heart? Um, I am. I just also lived in Rochester, and that, um, I could do both. I'm very, I'm very much, I can do on both ends of that spectrum. I can play whatever card I need to play, but my heart likes the minimal style. Right. The minimal life. So the questions everyone asks are, how are you supporting yourself? And you're just going to work on the road. Yeah. Uh, for the time being, you're living on savings until you get more income. Right, right. And then everyone asks, how do you go to the bathroom? Um, I have this, um, I guess, portable toilet. Mm -hmm. You use the, you just use bags in it. You really don't, I mean, nothing actually gets dirty in it because you use the bags. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a five-gallon bucket, right. really kind of a fancy right. five-gallon bucket. And I mean, if you want. Yeah, it's basically, it holds your toilet paper in here, and then it's just the seat. And then I keep the, the bags in there as well, actually. Right. So. Right, yeah. It works well. Mm-hmm. And then you throw the, the uh, five, the bucket, the bags away after yep. use. Yep, yep. And uh, and so, uh, where, and where's your shower? Um, so I actually have, and I can dig it out, but I have a solar shower. It's just a bag, a black bag, and it the sun heats it up. You can either throw, you can hang it from the rack or throw it on the hood or anything. And I haven't used it yet since we've got seven dollar showers in town. Right. But I hear that they warm up quite nice. They do. They work really well. So, and it's five gallons. So. So you're just going to go off on your own and take a shower outside? Yeah, yeah. and I have a swimsuit. Like I said, I have, I'm packed for going to Florida. So, um, you know, shower off in a swimming suit. There's, I'm completely fine with that. Right. And uh, in a lot of places, when, you're, when you swim, you get a, a shower to wash right. off and wash off right. before you get in. There's lots of options. So it's just really, really simple, but everything you need. Yep, yep. And even if I didn't have somewhere where I could use that shower, I have this is I do my dishes in this. Um, but I can also fill that with water and I can take this is a dishcloth, but I have actual um, like bathroom, right? Bathroom cloths that I can just, you know, shower off if I just right. with a washcloth. I can 
wash down. So a sponge bath. Yeah, you sponge bath. Take sponge Otherwise, baths. if I don't want to put water in here, I have baby wipes as well. So ba there's endless options. There whatever, are. whatever anybody would prefer. It really. Staying clean is really not that big of a chore. It's not, no, it's not that hard. Nope. Were you an so. outdoors gal growing up? Um, my grandparents had a, a farm, two farms, I guess. So. Yeah, I'm used to, we used to camp in the back. There's no running water back there, no bathrooms. So I, I mean, if we had to go in the woods, we, we went in the woods, I guess I didn't have a problem with that ever. So just a lifestyle that you grew up with, but. Right. Um, I'll tell you what, well, uh, let's dem two demonstrations. Uh, standing, because the Connect is amazingly tall for its tiny size. So yes. I'm not sure so, how that light's gonna work. I'll have to let this. So you're kind of uh, yep. So I slightly hunched over. Yes, I'm five five. Um, you know, I really haven't had much problems with it. Like my my back doesn't hurt at all doing it. Um, maybe if I make my bed, just because I'm leaning over so far to the far side. Um, but even for getting dressed, I'll stand up. I can get my pants on, and then I just I squat like I've been doing to get for any of my shirts. And I actually sit on. I use the, this, yeah. On so the, when uh, I'm, toilet as yes, a seat. yes. When I'm doing purpose. my hair and makeup, this is this is my bathroom counter. Right. And who doesn't like to sit when they do their hair and makeup? Right. So yeah. It's actually I, ideal. Yeah, I think it's great. I like it a lot better, actually. Yeah, the mirror so, was a very nice touch. Yes, and I have everything right in reach. It's it's perfect. I actually like it better than my bathroom at home. And are you cooking? Um. I haven't yet because we've had, um, I've had spaghetti, I've had chili, um, cause I've moved around a little bit. So I've, whatever, whatever the community is kind of doing for that night. But I do have, I do have a single burner on a propane tank. Right. So you can cook inside. Yes. yes I have pots and pans and, and that's actually another thing that I really like. Um, I don't remember where I got this. Um, I want to say Gander Mountain, but it's got everything. It didn't come with the bowls. I store the bowls in there. It came with the cups that are, they're measuring cups as well. I fit my bowls in there, but then it's got two pots and a pan, mm -hmm. and it all fits real conveniently. Tiny little space, tiny little weight. Yes. Yep. And I think they're actually backpacking. I'm sure they are. Yeah. But, but yeah, it fits together. I think perfect. It takes yeah. up very little space. Right. So you can cook a uh, three course meal. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Three course meal. Yep. Yeah. So you've actually arranged all the facilities you could need the bathroom the the kitchen the, sh the shower right uh and you sit in the seats to lounge yep yep otherwise i actually what i found i really like sitting i just sit on the floor here with the pillow and i just kind of hang my legs out and this is where i kind of hang out right. i was doing some writing earlier and this is door open yeah with the beautiful sun day. i'm from minnesota i just bring on the sun right <laughs> So, you wouldn't be doing this at home. No, right no, they're all bundled up, and I think they're having a snowstorm right now. Too. It's January so, in, at the RTR, so yeah, that's yes. uh, not good weather back yes. there. I have um, two five gallon things of water here as mm -hmm. well, and I've barely touched it really because I had some um, water bottles that I'd come with as well. But there's other places where um, if I was in the middle of the woods or something camping, I would need them more, and if I was cooking more too. It would definitely be helpful. So yeah, I've, between between me and a little dog, we, we fit in here really nice. Really nice. I can't complain at all. And one more demonstration. You you thought you made your bed a little too tall? Yes. Because it's, yes. it's way up um, there. you got a lot of space underneath. And, and the length of the bed is um, five nine, and I'm five five. So it's actually it still is longer than what I would need it. Um, but I'll show you how I have to get into it. So instead of 
instead of like a normal person where they would, I don't know, go backwards and do it like this, I get crunched in there. I have to go one foot in and I, and then just, and that's how I get up in here. Right. So it's, it's a little bit trickier, but once you get used to it, it really, it doesn't make, I don't notice a difference now. And you don't feel claustrophobic with the ceiling so close? Um, no, because if I'm sitting, I'm on the floor. Right. You know, or in, or in my chairs where this is just for bedtime for me. Um, and, or if I need something, you know, if I'm doing something where I need to pull something out, I just, it's a lot of storage, extra storage up here too during the day. So you wouldn't change it. It's crowded, but you're adjusted to it and you're happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it gives me a lot more storage underneath. Right. And, and I, you know, I, I have a lot of stuff in here for, for how small it is. And I actually, even what you see from the front side, I have more if you open the door from the back side. Right. This one has two side doors yep. and a back door. Yes. So you, the big plus is you can get to nearly all of it from inside and both sides. Yep. Yep. That yeah. is a big plus. Yeah. Yep. So, and there's, it, there's endless opportunities to arrange it however you want because of that. So... And I don't believe any of the minivans get better gas mileage than your 27 or 28. And none of them, I don't believe, have the headroom you have either. No, this this has a lot of room. Yeah, lots of headroom. Some of them are longer, I think, but not, not more headroom. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm very happy in it. And, and for people who are looking, now they're uh, the in, Nissan makes an NV this exact size, and Ram makes... Uh, uh, a minivan this size and so there are options for new ones but for a used one this is it the transit connect yeah. and and because this is the biggest model of the transit connect they got smaller after this one yes yep yeah yep. so this is a 2010 2010 and normally if you're looking at a 2010 you're probably looking at seven to nine thousand dollars for a good one um i think used. i think normally used it's about eight thousand mine was salvaged that's why it was so cheap um it had some front end damage but it was all inspected and everything after so i figured why not save myself some money and you know live in luxury yeah. <laughs> instead of a van instead of my car right yeah well, compared so, to a car this is huge yes yep. yep yeah it was worth it for me well, Jen, thanks for sharing your story and showing your home to us. It's uh, it's great. I'm I'm very Thank very you. impressed. For three thousand dollars, it was a screaming deal. Yes, and only three weeks to do it. So. Right. Yep. And I really admire your courage. Thank you. To uh, think so far out of the box and <laughs> take this kind of leap of faith. It was outside the box, but it's a it's a nice box to be in. Yeah. Yeah. And here you are in nature, enjoying yeah. friends and community, and uh, yeah. the future's yours. Yeah. yeah. Whatever path I choose. Well, thank you again, and I'll, we'll let you go. And thank you so much for sharing your home with us. Thank you. So, folks, I hope you've enjoyed seeing uh, Jen's beautiful Transit Connect and the great work she's done on making it a wonderful little home. And this could be you. All you have to be is bold and brave as Jen. Yeah. If Jen can do it, you can do it. And so uh, give it some thought. And until next time, thanks for watching our videos. And uh, like us on YouTube and share us on your social media. And we'll see you later.